Despite the 937 counts against him, Ariel Castro was defiant, almost rebellious in court, claiming he never beat or tortured the three women he held captive for a decade. I'm not a monster. I'm a normal person. I am just sick. I have an addiction. Just like an alcoholic has an addiction. An addiction to sex, Castro said, the result, he claimed, of having been a victim himself of sex acts as a child. In one of the more breathtaking moments at his sentencing, the man who pleaded guilty to multiple counts of rape said this about his victims. Most of the sex that went on in the house, and probably all of it, was consensual. This, this, these allegations about being forceful on them, that is totally wrong. Because there was times that they would even ask me for sex. Many times. A staggering claim balanced against photos the prosecution revealed in court. Chains, ties, even a motorcycle helmet that police say was placed on at least one victim when she was sexually assaulted. A door rigged with an alarm clock to signal Castro if someone was trying to get out. Showing a model of his home, officials said he'd reconfigured the house to keep the women hidden. Even with the presentation of this huge trove of evidence, Ariel Castro was still bold enough to interrupt the judge several times. This exchange was over the aggravated murder charge. There was never no evidence of me murderizing a, a fetus. That never happened. Mr. Castro, you talked with your attorneys and you made the decision to plead to count one yes, as indicted, correct? I to the record. I never killed anyone and I am not a murderer. The only victim to appear, Michelle Knight, who said she spent, quote, 11 years in hell. Days never got shorter. Days turns into nights. Nights turns into days. Years turn into eternity. Knight has told police she was pregnant at least five times, but was starved and punched until she eventually miscarried. DNA tests have confirmed Castro is the father of Amanda Berry's young daughter. When we were in Cleveland at the time of the women's rescue, a source familiar with the investigation told CNN that when Barry went into labor, Castro ordered Michelle Knight to deliver the child. The baby was delivered in a plastic tub or pool to contain the mess. And the source says once the child was born, there were moments of horror and panic. The child stopped breathing, according to the source. Everyone screamed. And Ariel Castro allegedly threatened to kill Michelle Knight if the baby didn't survive. According to a police report, Michelle Knight said she breathed into the child's mouth to keep her alive. The evidence that the women were bound, that chains and ropes were in the home, is consistent with the accounts of Fernando Colon. He was engaged to Gramilda Figueroa, Ariel Castro's ex-wife, until her death last year. Colon told me Castro would beat Figueroa mercilessly, sometimes with barbells, and... She told me that she was locked in that house, he had tinted the windows, she had uh, padlocked the doors. The only time that she was able to come out was for her appointments. That was it. In court today, Ariel Castro denied beating his ex-wife, saying she would escalate arguments and get physical with him, that he only reacted by putting hands on her. We do have to say Fernando Colon could have motivation for accusing Ariel Castro. Colon was convicted of molesting two of Castro's children several years ago. He has long said that he is innocent. He claims that Ariel Castro orchestrated the charges against him to deflect attention from Castro's own crimes. Colon is now planning to appeal his conviction. Wolf. And the, the judge, Michael Russo, he did make reference to the, the very chilling way that Castro uh, enticed these three women before he kidnapped them. He did. Uh, judge Michael Russo mentioned that uh, all three of the victims had previously been friends with at least two of Castro's daughters or his son. Now, we had been told by a private investigator in Cleveland when we were there that one of Castro's daughters would go to shopping with uh, one of the victims, Gina De Jesus, go to festivals with her, and that apparently appears now to be Castro's entry into this. This is how he maneuvered his way to get close to those victims.